Last time we made a cocktail called The Good Guy. I got that cocktail out of a book. It's a very good book. But today we're making Ed's sibling and it's something I made up myself. You can't have a drink called The Good Guy without also having a drink called The Bad Guy. So while that one was kinda sour and very herbal, we're going sweet and spicy this time. Still gonna be a bit sour, but we're flipping it on its head. And of course, it's going to be red. So first things first, last time we made a celery syrup. Today we're making a jalapeno honey syrup. We're gonna start by weighing out about 170 grams of honey. I find it way easier to just measure my honey by weight in the pan I'm going to use it in instead of trying to do things where it's sticking to my measuring cups and all that. So into the pan, 170 grams of honey. I'm going to miss it. I wound up with 177-ish grams, but that's close enough. This isn't the most precise of cocktails. And to that, we're going to add a half cup of water. If you are doing this by measurement, it was a half cup of honey as well. To that, we're going to dice up and add two jalapenos. Everything goes in the pot, and we take the diced jalapenos. Uh, that's going to give us our heat, a little bit of an herbal note, a vegetal note. Everything goes over a medium-high heat, and we just stir until the honey fully integrates with everything. And then I just let it sit and slowly cool on the stovetop. Took about 45 minutes. That left us with a syrup. So now we strain out the jalapeno and we get a rather nice honey jalapeno syrup. There's some heat to this, not too much. All right, now we build. We're gonna build this cocktail in a cocktail pitcher and then pour that over ice into our serving glass. There's no real need to shake this particular cocktail. It'll go together pretty smoothly. Step one, a pinch of salt. To that, we're going to add the juice of one lime. Two ounces of tart cherry juice. One full ounce of our jalapeno honey syrup. And that's it. Give it a stir. Now we fill our serving glass with ice. And to garnish, we're just gonna use one. And there you have it, one bad guy. The first thing you hit when you take a sip is the smell of the cherry. That hits your nose, but when you actually sip it, you get the jalapeno and honey first. And then the cherry comes a bit later and it's joined by a lingering heat from the jalapeno. The veggie notes, the kind of uh, grassy notes from the jalapenos, those are up front, but the heat is very low and towards the back. It's a very different drink than the good guy. Very easy to make, a uh, little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit different. Really recommend that if you do the menu, you put both on there. Uh, they contrast each other 
incredibly well. And they're both very easy drinks to make once you've thrown the syrup together. And just like the good guy, this recipe makes enough syrup for six cocktails. So thanks for uh, joining me with this. I want to take a moment and talk about the sponsor of today's video. It's myself again. Uh, please help us grow this channel. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know about new drinks. We're trying to put out a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. Come to the channel page to see them. We've also got a website at meetmeformocktails.com that has all of the recipes we've ever done, plus a few others, and it'll keep growing over time. If you haven't seen the Good Guy Cocktail, that's gonna be the recommended video uh, from me. And then the algorithm is gonna tell you whatever the algorithm is gonna tell you to do with the other video. So, as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, cheers.